Welcome everyone. Here doing video one with Scott from Financial Gravity. We're gonna be doing videos every single week where people can stop by, they can ask questions, leave comments below, and interact with Scott and the rest of the team on a weekly basis. Scott, how's your day going? It's going great, Jason. How about <laughs> you? Another another day in virus craziness. Uh, no yeah. no complaints though. You know we're safe, we're healthy, uh, you know progressing. And I think uh, doing these videos is, is awesome. We're gonna have a lot of engagement. You know people at home uh, with not much to do. I think it'll be great to shed some light on how you guys are still crushing at Financial Gravity. So it's good. Right. So let, let's uh, let's hop into things. Um, you know, I wanted to start off with you know your background and then get into you know also about the company, you know where things are going, some general market stuff. But you know, let's start with you. You know, tell me like how how did you kick off in the in the business world? You know, we'll get into financial gravity in a second. But what were you doing before financial gravity? Yeah, you know, I started out in this industry about twenty five years ago. Um, I started out as a financial advisor and had a real successful practice and uh, eventually went into training. I trained advisors and, and managed advisors. Um, most recently, um, I, I started a, uh, a turnkey asset management platform, a wealth management firm. Um, we you know, kind of did some unique things in the industry and, and because we did some um, things that were different, that were um, disruptive, we had a lot of success. And uh, we grew very, very rapidly. Uh, we were one of the fastest growing wealth management firms, according to Forbes, in the uh, in the industry for several years in a row. Uh, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, we were purchased by uh, by private equity, and um, and then the, this paths led me to financial gravity. <laughs> well, it's all. I mean, I guess. Like, can you say what that? unique um, and you know a little different thing you were doing was what, what were you doing yeah yeah um it, it is kind of a fun story so um prior to our firm the one that we built and, and you know founded and, and managed for about a decade um, for high net worth clients really high net worth clients um, they, they wouldn't invest in things like mutual funds in, in pooled um, type of accounts where your, your money is shared and pooled with other investors. They would have money managers that would be buying and selling individual stocks on their behalf. So they'd have institutional money managers that would be managing their money. But that type of investment vehicle wasn't available back then to, uh, to the masses. To the mass affluent and what we did is we created some technology and um, a way to um, a way to distribute managed money and um you know to the to the mass affluent marketplace so that for an account of twenty five thousand dollars you could diversify across many money managers and each one of those money managers would be buying and selling individual stocks inside of that individual client's account uh, nobody had ever done it before and, um, and that really led to a lot of um, a lot of growth for us. Interesting. So basically, all the the smaller guys, or really just your your average investor, was able to get the benefits of being a big fish. Absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. I guess obviously that probably felt a little bit more personable. Obviously, you're not just grouping them into everything, even though I'm sure there was something uh, behind the scenes. But still, um, obviously, it makes sense. You know, people don't want to just buy into a pool and say goodbye. They want to have a little bit of, you know, leeway and um, you know have a little bit of, I guess, uh, what like what would be the word there they want to have a little bit of control over where where they put their money and things that catch their is it more so things that catch their eye they could invest in um or is it just well no it's it's still a um individual money managers managing their account got it um, across that money managers discipline um, but instead of um pooling their money with, with other investors and putting it into a mutual fund or an etf that client, that end client, actually owned those individual shares of stock inside of their account. And because they own those individual shares of stock inside their account, there's um, advantages, um, there's tax lot harvesting, there's things that can be done that um, really saved, uh, saved money, saved cost, 
and then um, creative advantages from a tax perspective. Oh, that's awesome. So then company get company gets bought out. Um, you know, you guys, uh, you guys exit and now you're with financial gravity. So I guess kind of what, what's the big difference between what you were doing before and, and financial gravity? And I guess, what are a lot of the similarities that you're doing now? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, my, my previous company, we were a, um, we were single focused. We were an asset manager. Um, we were a, a, a TAMP, a turnkey asset management platform, which provided tools, uh, resources, back office, technology, and, and managed money to financial advisors across America. Um, we're so much more over at, uh, at Financial Gravity. Um, you know, when I came into the organization um, last year, Financial Gravity, Financial Gravity was primarily a registered investment advisory firm. An RIA. Today we look completely different. Um, today we're a publicly traded holding company for several financial services companies that are all synergistic. So you, you really truly get a, a rising tide lifts all boats effect. Um, we um, utilize shared resources across the different organizations to create economies of scale, save time, effort, and money. And we've interwoven two main themes into all the companies that we own. Um, theme number one is applied um, uh, behavioral finance, which is really, really important in financial services. For example, I'm just gonna give you one real quick example. It's really easy to manage money. Um, and, and it's easy to manage money well it's really, really hard to manage human beings. <laughs> so the end clients, um, people do the wrong thing at the wrong time because of, of emotions. So, uh, you know, the applied behavioral finance is really important in financial services. And you'll see that interwoven throughout all the companies that we own. Um, the other theme that we've really, really tried to take advantage of is sophisticated tax planning. You know, whether it's insurance or managed money or, or brokerage, um, you know, sophisticated tax planning is, is a really, really important theme for, for most of America today. Interesting. So, yeah, you guys are kind of, it seems like you guys are taking the extra mile, the extra step in, in all regards and linking a lot of things together, which obviously you guys can scale much easier you know what might be interesting for people that aren't familiar with financial gravity um or even just you know really the finance world in general um you know they they might buy some stocks and that's kind of as far as they know you know really try and give a an overview of what is financial gravity um you know even you know how do you guys um profit how do you guys make money and you know kind of talk about where the company was before you came and then where you've taken it to? Yeah, you know, before I came into the organization, it was primarily, like I said, a registered investment advisory firm. And mm -hmm. most, a large portion of its revenue came from, from that business, um, managing money. Um, today, like um, I mentioned, we're a holding company, Financial Gravity is a holding company for several other businesses. We currently own a, uh, a company called Forta Financial Group. Uh, Forta Financial Group is a duly registered broker dealer slash RIA, registered investment advisory firm, um, that has a, um, a footprint across America for independent financial advisors. Financial Gravity owns a, a company called Sophos Investments. Sophos Investments is a TAMP, a turnkey asset management platform, uh, that provides all of the tools, technology, resources, back office support, and institutional quality managed money to financial advisors across America. Uh, we own a company called um, uh, Empath Advisor Resources. It's an IMO, an insurance marketing organization. Um, we, you know, have top contracts with uh, 
you know, all of the major insurance companies across America and, and provide access to uh, insurance agents and financial advisors to the insurance products. But more specifically, um, we really have a um, domain experience in, in tax planning and how to use those um, insurance products and annuity products to save clients money. Not only save them money currently, but help them with multi-generational wealth transfer. We have a company called uh, Taxmaster Network. Uh, Taxmaster Network is really quite unique. It, it provides um, really high-end coaching to tax preparers, CPAs, and enrolled agents across America, mm -hmm. and provides a SaaS-based um, tax planning tool to CPAs uh, so that they can really do high-end um, tax planning for their clients and save them, um, especially business owners, save them tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in, in taxes, just utilizing the IRS tax code. And then we also manage a company called FA Mentor. Uh, FA Mentor is a practice management company for financial advisors that helps take an advisor's practice and turn it into a highly leveraged business set up for massive and sustainable growth. Interesting. So really, I mean, it seems like financial gravity is kind of the, the full package. Not only are you guys, you know, have your own you know, obviously, uh, like retail clients, but it's, it seems to be a lot more of a B2B. So if I was a, I guess, an investor or even just an interested party, the nice thing about financial gravity is you guys kind of have your hands in every part of the financial advisor world, you know, whether it's working directly with advisors, working with the software, um, or even working from the tax planning side, like you said, um, it, it's extremely interesting. And obviously it's definitely a growing world, you know, finances is, is changing and growing every year. Uh, so a, extremely interesting, you know, awesome for you guys, for, for people that aren't familiar with the industry, you know, how do a lot of these companies that are within financial gravity make money? You know, is it, are they selling software? Are you guys, you know, charging management fees like people are used to? What's kind of the, uh, the business model there? Yeah, you know, I think that's really the beauty of what we're doing is there's a lot of diversification around our revenue streams. Um, for example, um, the Taxmaster Network. It's a membership fee, um, you know, depending on the amount of services that a tax preparer wants alongside of our, um, our SaaS based offering, our, our tools for tax planning. Um, you know, they're going to pay anywhere from $99 a month up to $1,000 a month. And we have many, many uh, tax preparers that are paying $1,000 a month to get all of the value out that our membership brings. Um, when you talk about our, our TAMP, our Turnkey Asset Management Platform, SOFOS, it's um, a fee for assets under management. So it's a percentage of assets under management. Um, Fort to Financial Group is a wide variety of revenue streams based on either um, commissionable products or or fees for assets under management or fees for planning. So it, it's really quite a, quite a diversified mix of, of revenue. Interesting. Well, get, give me your outlook on the, like just the financial industry. Um, you know, in a in a short part, where do you think it's going? Uh, obviously, we're we're dealing with a. A little recession now obviously a uh, pretty crazy times but talk to me about like what's your forecast for the next 10 15 20 years even with the an aging population you know obviously as people age they generally tend to have more money under management uh, with financial advisors and other people alike now what's kind of your take on where that industry is moving yeah yeah and that's a really good question um you know i think that um there is a theme of you know the the graying of America, and you know accumulating wealth during one's um, working years is, is one thing, and it's um, obviously difficult to do. But making sure that you take that wealth and you spend it down through your retirement years appropriately, so you don't run out of money in retirement, is even more challenging. And, and I, I think that that's a really, really important theme, and, and that's a, um, a theme that we're spending a lot of time and effort and, and money to um, to resolve and and, um, and bring the very best of breed um, solutions 
to uh, to our clients. Yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense. Obviously, you guys are. It's cool to hear that you're not just you know working with uh, people. Yeah, give me your money, let me invest it for you. Cool, thanks for thanks for my check. You guys have all the other services, so it's also interesting. You guys have all that experience in the other area where you can you know help people make the most informed decision with knowing the other sides of the business. So extremely interesting, uh, awesome parts of financial gravity. And I I guess this leads into the next question of. So you've been here for a year. What does the next you know, year look like? Obviously you've changed the business a lot so far. What are you looking to do over the next year and where do you kind of see things going? That's a great question too. I mean, our, our, um, our mission has been to acquire companies that are synergistic, that help um, all of our other organizations be more successful. And you're gonna see that, con- you know, that continuation of that theme. Um, you know, we, um, you know, obviously have, uh, you know, several other companies that we, we have our eye on and, uh, and hopefully you'll see become part of the financial gravity family in the very near future. <laughs> That's an awesome teaser to leave people with. So no, it, it makes a lot of sense looking for things. Uh, and you guys have experience taking businesses and scaling them up, bringing them under a family where everyone benefits. You know, I, I think that's the awesome part about the financial services kind of sector is a lot of the businesses you guys have linked together well, where not only a client of one of your business, but a client of five of them, right? Or whatever it becomes. And there's a lot of, uh, I guess, linking that can happen and nice relationships between clients, but also between the companies. Well, yeah, I mean, and you know, the nice thing about it is, um, you know, somebody can come to us and say, okay, well, I want to use your um, turnkey asset management platform. And, and they get to know us, they get to know our process, and they get to know who we are and, and why we're doing what we're doing, and why we're unique. And, and then they can become acquainted with all of our other organizations, see if that fits for them, see if it fits for their business. Um, or they can come in and, and start utilizing our, um, our IMO, our insurance marketing organization, and that can lead to a much deeper more important relationship across all of our other organizations so it it really is a it's a great way for people to take a small bite of the apple um, find out who we are and and uh, And then eat the rest of the apple part of what they're doing no awesome well hey i think this was a great introduction um you know like we've said there's going to be weekly videos coming Uh, for anyone who has other questions you know we'll probably be diving into your other the other businesses under financial gravity in a little bit more detail you know this is a great uh, tip of the iceberg chat and if anyone has any questions you know make sure to either leave them below or join the telegram where they can ask uh, questions directly to the team and to us is there anything else you want to say to you know investors or potential investors that might see this video I, i would say stay tuned we have a lot of really exciting things to come um you know in the in the weeks to come as we do these interviews uh, we're going to be bringing on uh, ceos from our other organizations uh, they're going to be able to tell you know everybody tell the audience about the uniqueness of our offerings uh, what makes us um, what makes us special and what makes us tick and um, and why you should be um, part of the family Oh, awesome. Well, sounds good. You guys heard it here. You know, stay tuned for future videos and we'll see you guys next time.